Hi everyone. For those who don't know me, I'm Dennis, and today I'm going to talk about the sound synthesizing using JavaScript and Web Audio API. And by the way, this is the photo of the old Soviet Union synthesizer from 90s. So this is how uh, <laughs> sound evolution looks like in browser. BG Sound is, uh, I think, one of the oldest uh, tags in HTML3, which was uh, available on, uh, I think, 1996. Flash was very popular uh, plugin, uh, but now it's lost its positions because of uh, low efficiency. Audio is another tag from modern HTML5. And Web Audio API itself um, is from your browser. You have it in your WebKit. So you don't need to install any additional libraries. You just have it every time. Um, Web Audio API, API <laughs> provides us a big variety of uh, functions and modular structure. Uh, there are a lot of different audio nodes, but today I'm going to uh, explain in little details about these three because they are the most basic and most simple nodes. And we are starting from oscillator. Oscillators uh, can be, oh, I'm sorry, uh, can be, um, can have this kind of uh, waveform. So two square wave, sine wave, and triangle. And to have an, to give you an example. What is the difference? I will try to show you how it sounds like. So now it's square wave, which should sound very digitally because of its shape. Uh, this is very unpleasant sound. <laughs> but yeah. And Sine wave, since it's more smooth, uh, sounds more natural. Uh, another two important uh, variables is amplitude and frequency. Amplitude basically uh, represents the volume of your sound. And frequency um, measures in hertz. So one hertz is one oscillation per second. And Frequency, I'll give you an example. What is the frequency? Um, so frequency of the filter, for example. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is low frequency. So this, uh, this frequency is lower than this frequency. It means that this sound have less oscillations per second this, than this sound. Now I'm going to show you gain. Not this one. <laughs> uh, I'm going to talk about uh, audio node that names gain. Uh, gain basically very simple node. Uh, it just give you uh, ability to change your uh, volume. Next one is uh, bi-quad filter node. And you can filter your sound in few different ways. Uh, so the first one is low-pass filter. Its uh, function um, is to cut off everything that higher than set it frequency. So in this case, um, horizontal axis represents frequency. And um, everything that higher than point on the axis that touch the graph it will not sound. <coughs> Next one, high pass, is very similar, but making exactly opposite. Uh, I'm going to give you an example how the low pass working. 
so we will start it. And here you can see filter frequency. Now I cut off more uh, lower frequencies than before. And here, when I change the uh, limit, it's basically changing what is here. And the last one is bent pass. It gives you the uh, ability to uh, separate some range of frequencies from everything else. So it cuts everything before that range and after that range. In order to make it work, we need to connect everything in the uh, specific order. Uh, first, we need to create audio context. Inside that context, we need to have uh, our inputs, effects, and destinations. In my case, inputs, input, <laughs> is the simple oscillator. And effects is gain node and by quad filter. And destination is provided by audio context. Uh, so here, uh, they need to be connected in the same order I show you on this diagram. So I connect oscillator, which is my source, to bi-quad filter, which is the first uh, effect element. And then uh, making chain of them, I connect in bi-quad filter to gain node. And the last step is gain node connected to destination, since it's the last effect node. On my browser, I'm using jQuery uh, to collect um, variables from my sliders and from my keys, and a double-click -cl event to start set interval function, which invokes uh, update params function every five milliseconds. Update params function uh, basically collects all the values from sliders, from drop boxes, and assign them to, uh, so I change the parameters of the nodes every five milliseconds. I need to do that to, to make it real time change. So that's basically everything I want to tell you. In the conclusion, I want to say that there is a lot of uh, uh, ways to use it. You can use it to make uh, browser games. You can make uh, audio processing of any kind, voice processing. You can synthesize sound in your browser. And if you want to see more cool demos, of using Web Audio API, you can follow that link. That's basically it. Thank you.